We're at the Modular Driven Technologies booth, MDT at 2019 SHOT Show, talking with Josh Botha. Yep. Good to see you. Yep, absolutely. Good to see you. Bye. You know, I, I, before we got the cameras rolling, I think you guys are really making a big splash. Your name's really out there with exciting new products like the ACC chassis. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, so, you know, I'm actually really excited to, to try this out. Why don't you take our viewers through it and, and what we have? Yep, sure. I mean, the ACC has been really big for us this year. Um, we released it to the end of last year, and we've made a, a really big push to the competitive market, right? So we've gone really big into the chassis, into some of the accessories, and a lot of the products that uh, competitive shooters are looking for. So right in the name of the ACC, it's the Adjustable Core Competition Chassis. Okay. So we made it, again, adjustable, right? Kind of sits with the Modular Driven Technologies name. Uh, at its core, it is built for competitors, and it has a very adjustable feel to it so as we walk through it here um, we'll go through some of the features that really make it super super adjustable. sure um, one of the biggest things you'll notice on this chassis is it's fully weighted up on the outside with a bunch of black looking weights and on the inside which you can't see under the barrel has even more steel weights okay um, so one of the the big pushes for the PRS and NRL right now uh, and their shooters is to make their chassis heavy right to make their gear heavy so as you've probably seen a match right. right if you're on a barricade or you're on something weird right you just place your gun down and you know a lot of guys are getting in trouble for free recoil, right? But you just pretty much place it, pull the trigger, and it's going to go yeah. where you want, right? I mean, it's all about recoil mitigation. Exactly, yeah. right? And that's the weight, right? This gun, this gun right now, if you pick it up, it's about 28 pounds. So okay. it's fully loaded. It's, it's you know, heavy. <laughs> but you can take these off if you don't want all that weight. Exactly, right? Yeah. So all the way in the bottom of the barrel channel, all the way on the outside, it's all M-lock on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some screws holding it in from the bottom. Okay. And uh, you can take them off, on and off on the fly. You can, uh, if you're going to a field match, dump them out. If you're going to like a national match, you know, put them in where you want them. Balance the gun to you. Okay. Um, and we actually have the removable end cap too. So what I was doing at the range the other day was I left the end cap off, slid a weight in, tightened it down. Okay, that doesn't feel so good. You know, put another one in. Okay, that's balancing better. And you can actually okay. make the changes on the fly while you're out there. Okay. Um, and move them back and forth. Yeah. Um, underneath that, you've got a long 17 inches of Arca. So you've got okay. a huge big Arca forend for your tripods. So I can move that up wherever I want. Exactly. Right? Yeah. We kind of uh, left that up to the shooter. Didn't limit them in any way. Just go nuts, right? Put whatever mm -hmm. you want on there, right? Well, I, I also like how this is. You, you got some serrations here. Exactly. So if you want to squeeze a barricade between your bipod and this, exactly. you know, you got some good grip. Yeah, and we actually got a lot of guys who will, uh, same thing, they'll run the, the barricade stop back yeah. up against a bag or something like that, yeah. or whatever prop they're on, right? Yeah. Um, we also tried to make the barricade stop a lot more vertical than a lot of our other chassis, and again, made it a little bit longer. So as you're, as you're saying, right, if you're jamming something against it, you're not going to have your mag tilting, causing, causing any feeding issues or anything mm -hmm. like that, yeah. um, which is now a staple across pretty much all of our chassis. Yeah. Um, on the magwell, we have a huge, big flared magwell, both on the outside and the inside. Yep. It's one of those things you just like throw a mag at it, and it's going to go in, right? So if you're on the clock, you're just reaching down, mag in, you're ready to roll. Um, we have our 12 round mag in here right now, which is kind of a staple for a lot of the mags we sell for competitors. Um, we also do a 10 round, and then we're coming out with some other new cool stuff uh, okay. to keep tuned for 2019. Um, this one's inletted for the 700 inlet and all of its clones. Okay. Um, we're yet to find a 700 footprint action that fits in here uh, in one form or another. And sometimes you just need a little bit of work with the mag lash to make sure the mags work. Mm -hmm. But almost all of them drop right in, two action screws, and you're ready to go. Okay. Um, we do have oversized uh, trigger slots as well for the trigger hanger uh, compatible actions. So mm -hmm. you, can, you know, don't have to do any milling or anything like that. No bedding required on the V block. Um, we also have a couple cool features like our ambi mag latch, which is uh, a feature on a lot of our chassis now. Mm -hmm. And we also have a slot cut in the bottom here, so you can actually adjust a single stage trigger again on the fly. I was wondering what that's for. Yeah, that's that's good thinking yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. So actually, yeah. I was on the range the other day with my diamond, and same yeah. thing, just reaching the bottom, you know, adjust okay. it, make it. Nah, it doesn't work so well. Adjust on the fly, right? Right. Right. Um, moving back from there, we've got our vertical grip, which was designed with this chassis in mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of competitors asked us for a vertical type grip, right? They were, you know, not so happy with the kind of angle. Right. Um, and this grip's actually kind of neat because you can adjust it back and forth to fit your hand a little bit better too. You get about half inch of adjustment. On yeah. There. And I noticed you've got. Sort yep. of a thumb ramp there. Yep, we got the little thumb shelves. Um, you know, some people like like them, some people don't. Some people mm -hmm. use them. It's just right. really kind of a personal preference thing. We've started including them on all of our chassis, and these, this one's actually a little bit wider than all of our other chassis. So you just have a little bit more purchase uh, when it's a little bit, you know, rainier or, right. or snow or outside kind of thing, right? Uh, moving back, we're going into our buttstock, which again has weight built into it, which you can add and remove on the fly. Mm -hmm. We also have weight uh, actually in the buttstock uh, dovetail piece back here as well. Okay. So you have a lot of weight to counterbalance this really heavy forehand if you want. Right. Um, and this is actually really similar to our ESS buttstock. So right now, we don't have the folding adapter available. We only have it in just the fixed. Okay. We should have folding in the future uh, for an upcharge for, for guys who want to add that. 
Uh, and then we have all the adjustments you find on all of our butt stocks. So you've got your cheek riser height, you've got your length of pull adjustment, all the canting and all the you know, adjustments you need there to make sure it all fits to you. And that's okay. kind of one of the, the big features of this chassis and what we're really going for for competitors is just to make sure it fits you, right? Um, that's right. And we want to make sure that whatever gun you drop into, barrel, whatever, it's going to fit, adjust it, set it and go. All right. uh, color options? Uh, right now, we've only got the uh, tactical gray, okay. but across the whole line, we're looking at doing uh, a lot of different custom, custom colors sorry, and cu customization. Okay. Um, so just the one available for now, but probably the next couple of months, we'll have a lot. <laughs> gotcha. Now, obviously, there are a lot of options you could go with. The basic chassis, what does that run price-wise? So chassis and buttstock alone, without your grip and, and mag, those are $9.99. Okay. Um, our grips are in the range of $40, $50. Mags are about the $70 range. Um, and then when you start adding other accessories, it'll just kind of go up from there. Awesome. Awesome. Now, I, I noticed a few other MDT things on here. Mm -hmm. you know, we talked a little bit about the 12-round the mag. Let's talk about the muscle brake, and then we'll move on to the Skypod, because sure. that's pretty exciting news. Absolutely. Uh, the brake was a really cool one for us, actually, and that's yeah. something that we're still kind of developing. Um, this one was built kind of just to update our older tactical brakes. Um, we went to a three-port angle brake for a little bit more uh, efficiency, a little bit less concussion to the shooter. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been running one's uh, prototypes, actually, since last May in all different types of matches, all different types of field courses, and they've been pretty incredible. Um, I've been really liking it a lot. Um, one issue we have with some guys with really heavy barrels or really skinny barrels the, the matchup's a little bit odd on the self-timing nut, yep. but it is a self-timing brake, right? So okay. it's really easy to install, uh, press the wrench, and you just torque it down, a bit of Loctite, and you're ready to roll. Okay. Um, efficiency on the brake, I mean, everyone talks about how efficient their brakes are, mm -hmm. but uh, you know what, personally, with a heavy gun, that brake on it, it's not going to move. <laughs> and these come four different calibers? Um, kind of, yes. Okay. So, so we do, it's more along with a thread pitch, right? Okay. So if you're running a 223, we're going to go with a half 28. Okay. Um, if you're going to be running a 6.5, 308, we have a 5 base 24. And then the larger calibers, we have a, a three quarter. And then we also do some metric sizes too. Okay, gotcha. Pricing? Um, 120, I believe. 119. Oh, really? That's yeah, very so competitive. Very aggressive pricing yeah. on these guys. And to be honest, we shot them directly against some of the other big names in the industry. And for double the price, we can't see double the value. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Skypod. Yep. I bought mine. About a year ago, love it. Now yeah. you guys just acquired the Skypod. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit more about um, if you have any planned changes, or you know, we're going to see more of these out there. You know, ramping up production, that sort of thing. So we actually had Sky in the booth here. He's okay. supposed to be around here today somewhere. Okay. Um, I know he's got to go back to uh, to Montana to keep assembling these because right okay. now we're actually just finishing up the acquisition. Uh, we're bringing bringing Sky over to our uh, competitive team for the year. Okay. We're uh, having him on board, and then we're going to take over production from him. So gotcha. right now he's finishing up a lot of the production himself. So. So he's production right now. He is our production right okay, now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, he's a really good guy to have on board, though. Okay. Uh, we're really happy to have him. And we are going to start to transition over. So we don't have him available yet, unfortunately. Um, okay. They should still be available on 406bullets.com, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, where they were before. Um, but we'll start be bringing that over. And I think we're ha hoping to have him available to everybody for April. Okay, and these are still 499 roughly? Yeah, so for your Picatinny adaptable one, which we have over there, yep. uh, that one's going to be 499 And then for the Arca compatible, uh, they're going to be 549 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much the same kind of pricing. They did go up just a little bit, um, but we are going to take over, and you probably will see, you know, if you have a Gen 1 uh, like they are now, mm -hmm. when we take them over to Gen 2, you probably will see a little changes as we take over the production and change a couple okay. things, okay. Um, but the function is not going to change. Right? Gotcha. All right. So we have one other chassis we want to kind of bring in here. Why don't we talk about this? Sure. Yeah, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Absolutely. So... So what this one is, this is our LSS Gen 2. Um, like a lot of the other chassis, we're moving them up into our Gen 2 range now. We're getting away from the Gen 1s. Um, and what we've done to this is make it lighter, faster, more compact, more portable. Um, it's our light sniper system, right? That's what the LSS has always been. So chassis body alone is one of the lightest on the market right now at 1.2 pounds, um, which means that if you couple that with a light butt stock, you know, it's great for hunters, it's great for guys who want a compact, tactical system. Um, we've had a lot of actually uh, law enforcement uh, mm -hmm. type industries and military uh, come by and have a look at these things, pick them up and say, okay, yeah, you know, that's that's almost as light as my chassis, right? Yeah. Uh, or my stock, sorry. Um, all AICS mag compatible. You can run five rounders, 10 rounders, 12 rounders in here, and long action, short action. Um, a ton of different inlets. Uh, we already have them actually available for a wide variety of inlets. Okay. Um, and you've got updates all over the place. So the styling's been updated. You've got the barricade grooves uh, on these guys now. They have a bit more of a flared mag weld than the old style. Um, and we've updated little things all over them just to make them a little bit more yeah. user-friendly. Yeah. Um, so lots of little things kind of going all over the place. Um, 
and you know as we're doing with everything we're slowly updating making sure we have everything as current and uh, listening to shooters and making sure we are providing what they want so this is kind of really what happened to this one right gotcha. full M lock uh, on the fore end on the bottom and on the sides so you can really customize this again to where you want it to be and it's a 399 price point and that that's without the mag, and does it include the buttstock or without the buttstock? Without the buttstock. Okay. Yeah, so we make okay. our skeleton carbine stock to fit on these yeah. ones, um, but we've got a couple more of those coming. But that gives the, the buyer the option to choose whatever they want. Exactly, okay. yeah. So if you have gotcha. an AR-15 uh, laying at home or buttstock or accessories for them, you can just bolt them right on. Same thing with the grips. It takes AR grips. Yep. Um, so, you know, if you already have those accessories, it's a really easy uh, way to just get into a chassis. Okay, excellent. Now, I'm noticing in the case right before us, we have a number of different... Um, Accessories. Yes. Is there anything there that you want to highlight? Uh, well, one of the really cool new things that we haven't really talked about so much yet, uh, and we haven't actually done any announcements on, is our Unimount. Okay. Uh, so it's one thing that we're looking at again with our comp uh, competitors and our big competitive team this year. Uh, we have a lot of requests for a Unimount. So one piece mount, two rings that are joined together in the center, a lot of rigidity, a lot of stiffness. Um, we actually have a prototype in here, our first machine prototype. And what that is, is uh, a 34 mil bore through center precision match bore. Uh, it's a 30, yes, 34 mil bore, 30, 30 mil height, or 1.18, um, pretty much as low as we could go. Uh, and we've kind of taken our two-piece elite tactical rings and just made them rigid, made them solid, right? Okay. Uh, we plan to do some testing on that early this year with a lot of our sponsor shooters. Um, we're hoping to get a whole bunch of them out there in the market, and you're going to see probably mid, uh, yeah, mid 2019, kind of early summer, okay. a lot of them out there on the firing line. <laughs> and so I imagine some pricing still is to be worked out. Still to be worked out. Okay. Uh, we're we're hoping to be somewhere in the sort of 300, 350 dollar range. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate you spending time with us and, and, and our and our audience. Absolutely. Yeah. No. No. Thanks for coming by, guys. We're uh, really excited for 2019. Best of luck. Yeah. Thank you.